This could go one of two ways. Here we go. Right, you should have seen, hopefully you've seen, if not, look back. We did a Vesta beef curry. Now, Vesta seems to have two camps. There's the ones that really like it. I don't know if they actually do really like it or it's a nostalgia thing. It takes you back to when I were a lad. And Vesta was like, it's a curry. It's a proper Indian curry and people used to eat it. And I think it takes you back. Or you've got the other camp that, meh, it's like chewing on rabbit food in a yakky curry sauce. Which camp are you in? Hmm. Today we are doing the Vesta chow mein. Now, to my recollection, I can't ever remember having the chow mein. I remember trying the, the Vesta beef curry when I were a wee nipper. I can remember, but I can't ever remember trying this. So, this could be an interesting review. Is it a win or is it a bin? You know, keep watching. I'm going to cook it on the hob and I'm also going to fry the crispy noodles that you get with it. So, I'm going to get this cooked and then we're going to come back and let's see what I think of it. I'll catch you in a mo. And there you have it, a Vesta Chow Mein. I've not put all of the crispy noodles on top because you do get a lot. And they are crispy a lot. And then underneath, trying to do it through the camera, there's your chow mein. So, let's get over to the table and let's try it. It did, by the way, take more than the 15 minutes that it tells you to simmer once you've added the noodles. It took about 20 minutes to half an hour. So just be aware of that. So let's go over to the table and let's see if it's a banging chow mein. So, back at the table. And there we go. Quite a nice size portion you get. It does say serves one, but I don't know. Smell wise, when I was first cooking it and you added the packet of the chow mein into the saucepan, then the water stirred it. It smelt like a beef cup of soup. And I thought, Ugh. but now it doesn't smell bad now. It doesn't smell like a chow mein, not from a takeaway anyway, but uh, it, it don't smell bad. Crispy noodles. These would be brilliant sold in a packet. Do flavours that you sprinkle on them and sell them in a packet on their own. Fry them. Beer snacks. Watching the footy. I do like the noodles. If you want to know how to make your own, there is a video. And if I can find it, it will be under your information. At the top right under your screen, you see a little eye. We actually did something similar using rice noodles. Check that out, because they're good snacks. On with this one. So the noodles are nice. What's the chow mein like? There is a lot of soft noodles in the chow mein. I would have preferred long noodles though, uh, like you get with your takeaways. Smells a bit. It's not a chow mein smell. It smells of tomato. Tomato smell coming through. Oh dear. Ooh, uh, I can tell you now, this is going to be a tough one to rate. Noodles again. If you want the noodles crispy, eat those quick because the steam coming up from the actual food and the sauce that is there is soaking up into the noodles and making them soft. So get your noodles down you quick. Right then, the veg is cooked okay. 
you can tell it's been dehydrated but it's not bad not disgusting anyway I wouldn't say it's good but the meat the meat's got a consistency similar to corn mints very similar I'd imagine that's because it's been dehydrated so thoughts on it noodles the crispy noodles are really nice the noodles that are actually in the chow mein they're okay they cook nice I wish they'd have been long thin noodles like you get in your takeaway but that's by the by if you're struggling to get this by the way I found this one in Tesco's and it's not a one-off thing I think they regularly stock it I believe it's in the aisle where the Chinese food is or it could be in the aisle where the pot noodles and all that stuff is and we're going to come back to that in a minute the pot noodle the meat as I say is a similar consistency to a quorum the veg you know it's dehydrated but it's not blech, and the taste of it is not blech. it's edible and I quite like the taste but it's not a chow mein taste doesn't taste anything like a chow mein to me it may to you people's tastes are different to me it doesn't and I know it says chow mein in big letters but it says on the back a Chinese style so if they are aiming at chow mein no and in fact Chinese I'd use that term loosely as well for the flavour I think the closest thing I could say taste wise to this going back to what I just said before dare I say it it's a similar thing to a pot noodle the taste hmm. I've had Chinese uh, sweet sours that sort of thing pot noodles and the beef and tomato one is probably even closer to this than any of the other pot noodles it's very similar to a pot noodle flavour I think if pot noodle brought out and I think they have brought out a chow mein I'm sure they have I think it was ages ago when I had it so I can't remember the flavour I would say it tastes like this because it, this does not taste like a chow mein that brings me on to the rating uh, let's have a drink Is it an up? No. Because it doesn't taste like a chow mein. But it's edible. So it's not a down. Because I quite like the taste. But I wouldn't have guessed it if I did a blind test that was a chow mein. You get quite a lot. And it's, it's not bad. It's just not chow mein. It's getting an unsure. Because it's edible. It's okay flavour wise, but it's not chow mein. It doesn't even taste Chinese to me. It is a lot better than the Vesta beef curry though. Because you know when I tried that. But different people, different tastes. Some people love it. I'm telling you, they love it. I don't. I liked when I did the beef one because, as I say, it took me back to when I were a lad when you could only get Vesta curries. And people thought, this is proper Indian food. Mm. And this is the same with the char Charmaine. It's edible. It's worth getting, just for the fun of it. Takes you back. Get it and cook it. Just be aware, it does take a lot longer than it says. Well, it did me anyway. And it's not expensive. I'd, I'd go and try it. It gets an unsure, because I'm not too keen on the fact that it's not Charmaine flavour. I, I, I use the term Chinese flavour loosely, but I don't mind the taste, so I'm unsure. There you have it. Drop your comments in. You must have tried that. Everyone's had Vestas. Which camp are you in? Are you in the Vesta camp that says, it takes me back, but I also like it, the banging? Or are you in the camp that says, ugh, I ain't eating that. It's disgusting. There's normally two camps. Bit of a Marmite thing with the Vesta, so... Drop your comments in below. What do you think of them? Have you not tried this yet? Try it and let us know. 
bit of fun, isn't it? Thumbs up. If you like this video, it does help the channel. Keep smashing them thumbs ups. Subscribe if you're not, it's free. And drop your comments in, like I've said, on this. Helps the channel. And it also lets us know you're listening. And you're interested. What more can I say? Thanks for watching. I'm going to go and eat this because it's not, it's not a bin, but it's not a win. It's a, a draw, I suppose. Catch you on the next one.